so today is going to be a story time about the time that I pretty much lost all of my eyelashes. Thankfully, I did not have to go through it alone because it happened to one of my friends. And awful, horrible things happen not only to you, but to other people close to you. It makes the horrible event not so horrible. So this happened about three or four years ago, and my friend and I saw this girl on our Facebook that was doing eyelash extensions. I contacted her and I said, I want some beautiful, thick, luscious lashes because who doesn't want beautiful, thick, luscious lashes? lashes, right? Even though my lashes are already very nice, stupid Stephanie was like, I want them better because I'm American and just good is not good enough. It needs to be fabulous. I lay down and I really can't see what she's doing because I'm laying down and this is my first time having anything like this done to me so I was a little bit nervous and the stench of the glue right away caught me off guard. It was an extremely strong fume. So she's putting the eyelashes in and I guess these were like semi-permanent or something. She said that they would last me a few months and then gradually they would fall out. She would put a little bit of glue at the tip of them and then using a tweezer she would apply them to my real lashes. It took about I think like a half an hour to get all of it done and then when it was finished my eyes felt extremely sore and red and I wasn't sure if I was having like an allergic reaction to whatever she had done to me so I asked her I was like is this okay like is this normal for my eyes to feel so puffy and red and she said yeah that's fine that'll just like go down in like a couple of hours so I was like okay and then it was my friend's turn so my friend got hers done and I'm also looking at my eyelashes in the mirror and I noticed my eyelashes were very very clumped together and instead of making it look like you just had individual lashes it just looked like you had one big black glob of lashes and she said oh don't worry about it the glue needs to just like set and then after a couple hours you can take your fingers and start to slowly separate your lashes and it'll just look much better so I was like okay I really wanted to trust this girl I really liked her and I wanted to support her business so I gave her like a $40 tip and I said thank you so much for taking the time to do mine and my friend's lashes. I get home and the entire night my lashes were just driving me crazy. As soon as I walked home my mom looked at me and she's like are you on drugs? And I was like why? What are you talking about? She's like your pupils are like crazy dilated and your eyes are bloodshot. So I go and look in the mirror and of course I notice that not only are my eyes just like pure red and my eyes are so dilated but also I have red all around my eyes. The glue dried in a huge clump. Every time I blinked my eyes, it felt like little razors cutting the underneath of my eyes. After a few hours of dealing with that, it became almost unbearable. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't focus on anything because every time I blinked my eyes, it was like excruciating. And I called up my friend and I'm like, girl, is this happening to you too? Or am I just crazy? And she said that it was happening to her too. I called up the girl and I said, girl, I think me and my friend are having some kind of of reaction to the stuff. I don't know what kind of glue you used, but it's just not working out for us. Like we need to get these eyelashes off. And she started making excuses. She was saying, oh no, like I do this on everybody and nobody ever has a problem. Like just give it some time. And I was like, girl, I don't think I could give this time. It hurts to blink my eyes. And she's like, well, if they're so clumped together and if they're so sharp, why don't you try taking your fingers and like separating your eyelashes out? And I was like, girl, I'm trying to, but every time I do it's excruciating pain like just imagine taking eyelashes that are glued together and trying to separate them like first of all like that can't be good for your eyelashes hugging at your eyelashes in any way shape or form is terrible so the fact that she even suggested that should have been a huge red flag that she was not a professional did not know what she was doing so that entire night I pretty much tried to individually separate all of my eyelashes and it was horribly painful I was in my bathroom I was trying everything I could I tried to put warm water on it to soften the glue and that did not help at all. So I call her up again and at this point I'm really frustrated. Clearly it wasn't just a problem that I was having, it was a problem that my friend was having too and this woman just would not acknowledge that we were having a problem and she didn't really want to help us either. I tried to ask her if we could come to her and have her fix it for us but because of the weather conditions she said that she couldn't get there because it was like snowing. So she tells me that I should go to Sally's Beauty Supply and buy some eyelash glue remover. So I take my car and it's like a blue 
blizzard outside. I didn't even know if Sally's was going to be open, but thankfully Sally's was open. I bought the stuff and it helped a little bit, but it was still extremely painful. By the time I was done, I was left with very few eyelashes. It was just a big shock and I called my friend the next day and she told me that she pretty much had the same thing happen to her and we just couldn't understand what happened. I did a lot of googling on the topic of false eyelashes and apparently this should not happen at all if it's done by someone who is trained properly to do this. I was very upset because not only had I spent a lot of money on this but now I was left with no eyelashes. I started to vent to my family and friends about about this and they were like well you should sue her your eyelashes are gonna take at least three months to grow back but I didn't want to cause like a huge stink over it because I realized that I kind of put myself into that situation like I did go to a girl that I found on Facebook and I did get this done in like the back of a tattoo parlor so I kind of walked into the cave of the beast if you know what I'm saying so I called her up and I'm like girl my eyelashes are gone may we mourn the loss of my eyelashes I paid you quite a bit of money to get this done and I am not satisfied with the results. So can I at least get somewhat of a refund? And I even told her not to worry about the $40 tip that I gave her because that was her money for her time. And she told me that she could not give me any kind of a refund because she had already spent the money that we paid to get our lashes done. Sounds like quite the professional business owner. So at this point I was so frustrated, but I knew that I had to do something. I wasn't gonna get a refund. I wasn't gonna get an apology. I wasn't gonna get an explanation from this girl. So I decided that I had to at least warn people about what this girl was doing because I didn't want this to happen to anybody else. So I actually contacted the tattoo shop owner who is a really cool guy actually, like I'm friends with him on Facebook still. And I told him what had happened to me and that it had not only happened to me, but it happened to my friend as well and he told me that he would give me a refund out of his own pocket even though her side gig that he was letting her do in his tattoo shop was in no way affiliated with his business and at that point I was like no way dude like I'm not gonna let this girl's mistake affect your business I'm not going to accept any kind of refund from you and yeah I don't think she continued to work at the tattoo shop after that I think a lot of people in my situation would have probably sued her but I am not a sue happy type of person Person, so I just kind of let it go and let this serve as a life lesson. I think the lesson is don't try changing things about yourself that don't need to be changed. Don't fix things that aren't broken. I don't know why I thought that I needed eyelash extensions and even my mother said, Stephanie, are you crazy? Your eyelashes were already so beautiful. Why would you try to change them? I should have listened to mom. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Click the thumbs up button if you support not having all of your eyelashes fall off. Also click the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! Woof! Woof! Woof!